Yeah, see, so it's like, do the Fonzie thing. Just like, ah, just mess it up more. This wasn't my first phone, but it was like the second or third phone I got, and it's my favorite phone in the world. I got it in college, and it was the Nokia 7370. My first phone was the Motorola Talk About T180. Oh yeah, look at this baby. Oh yeah. I only just realized this is called candy bar design. I had no idea that that's what this phone was called. So this is the uh, Kyocera QCP6035. This was my first phone and one of the first smartphones in the United States. My first phone was this teeny tiny Samsung, and I think it was an SGH S300 before you had fancy names for your phones. I remember walking to the store thinking, man, does Radio Shack really sell phones? It doesn't make any sense. When I told the guy I was interested in a phone, I mean, he, his eyes lit up. I was very, I was like uh, 16, so I didn't decide anything. So I think this was like my parents saying, you need a phone, so this is the phone you're getting. I did not buy my phone, my parents bought it for me. I think I decided on this phone because it was cool. I could do the cool flip thing. What up? I think I was in a T-Mobile store and this was my very first smartphone. It held up for a really long time without getting any kind of cell phone. But this thing I was so excited about because it was the first Google phone, uh, the first Android phone. Back then, the fact that I could get this in five different colors was pretty amazing. And because there were no cases, this was sort of your personality, right? It was the color that you chose. So I had friends who do theater and apparently they had this exact model and legend had it that they were able to use this phone within, or inside an elevator in the basement of a casino. My favorite part of the phone is the fact that it puts so many phone charms on it. Um, like this one actually wiped the screen. But you know, come on, like you can't talk to an Asian girl about her phone during her teenage years without phone charms coming up. It's got the whole uh, Palm Pilot thing going on where there's a built-in handwriting system so you can do handwriting right on the phone itself. One feature, snake. That's all that mattered back then was snake. My favorite thing about this phone was the Android operating system, the fact that I could use it to get you know, a whole bunch of different apps on the, the store. At the time, the, the, the store was kind of the Wild West. You could get emulators for games, for example. Of course, being able to browse the internet and, and text and everything on this thing. You could program your contacts using your voice. I just went into this weird voice for all of my contacts, so I'd have to go, call mom. My favorite feature is maybe not a feature, but it's just like part of it. It has like this antenna that comes out. This is like so satisfying. Just My favorite feature about this phone was that it had a like an indicator light on the back of it. And you could flip it upside down like this and it would like blink green to say, hey, you're important, man. And everyone else around could see that. <laughs> Uh, the worst thing about it was the battery life. I remember uh, at the time I, it seemed to die in the middle of the day when I was using it a lot. So what I did was I bought this special battery case extension on it. So you just slap this new battery onto the back of the phone and it actually made it even thicker and more difficult to carry, but it was totally worth it for the extra battery life. I didn't like that my parents could call me on it. That was the worst feature of the phone. This antenna would f just fell off after a couple months. And for a while I'd just wrap it in tape I'd put it in my pocket and it would just get stuck in my pocket because it was just covered in gross, ratty tape. I guess I could say the only thing I don't like about it was that, um, I don't know. It's just perfect. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing had a camera in it, and at the time it was great. Um, you know, it seemed like it took really good pictures, you know. But, um, you know, now looking at phones, it's ridiculous. The, you can't even see anything. And, and the screen itself has really low resolutions. <laughs> no, no camera, man. Man, I'm surprised it even had, like, sound. This phone had a 1.3 megapixel camera, as you can see, very advanced. And there was, like, a little bubble here for the selfie. I guess it gives you, like, some modicum idea of where your face is. Oh, well you don't know about this phone because it doesn't even have a camera. If I could switch back to this phone and not lose my job, I would do it in a heartbeat. Because 
It's tiny, it's not too complicated. I could text under my desk, like. Oh, well, I have to silence it, of course. And I missed just how, like, kind of indestructible it was. It's just pure plastic, and if it dropped, the battery came out, and then you just pop the battery back in. Just the nostalgia factor is the coolest thing about this thing. You know, back then, it's really simple. You know, that's one difference that might be better. It's just, it's really simple to have. What I like about this phone compared to the phones of today is I just like that it's really small. I wasn't constantly thinking about it and thinking that I should just have to be absorbing information on my phone at all times. It was a phone and I liked it for that purpose and it served me well. Even if you flipped it open, it was still... This is ridiculous! It's just... So lots of like cricket-like noises. Sonar. This was my ringtone. This is totally my ringtone. Uh, so my ringtone was uh, ringtone 26. I guess it's like the Beatles, like number nine, but Qualcomm 26.